U.S. President Joe Biden has now dropped a massive bombshell on the Israel-Hamas war, drawing an India link. He claims that the Israel-Hamas war is because of the India-Middle East-Europe economic corridor. Biden stated that he's convinced that one of the reasons why Hamas launched a terror attack on Israel was because of India's recent announcement. If you remember during the G20 summit, which took place here in Delhi, uh, where it was announced that this corridor will integrate the entire region with a network of railroad. Now, the Indian corridor will link UAE, Saudi, Jordan to Israel, Port Haifa. This corridor aims at building rail ship networks and to link the entire Middle East. But Hamas terrorists are against an Israel-Arab friendship. And it's possible that this is nothing but Hamas's sabotage bid to isolate Israel. And this is what President Joe Biden has made a reference to. I'm convinced one of the reasons Hamas attacked when they did, I have no proof of this, as my instinct tells me, is because of the progress we were making towards regional integration for Israel and regional integration overall. And we can't leave that work behind. And one more word on this. I continue to be alarmed about extremist settlers attacking Palestinians in the West Bank, that uh, pouring gasoline on fire is what it's like. They, this was a deal. The deal was made, and they're attacking Palestinians in places that they're entitled to be. It has to stop. They have to be held accountable. And it has to stop now. I want to bring in now Shivaru on this broadcast, on this big claim that Biden has made where he's linked Shiv, the India-Middle East-Europe economic corridor, and what's happening right now with regards to the Israel-Hamas conflict. What do you think about this allegation? Because our experts have also opined on this. Well, I think uh, Joe Biden is on the money here. I think uh, uh, what he says completely aligns uh, with what uh, many experts have said uh, around the world and on India today that, you know, a normalization of the atmosphere, the normalization of relations and tensions, especially between Israel uh, and Saudi Arabia, uh, you know, sanctions lifted in part uh, between US and Iran, uh, the India economic corridor be becoming a kind of, uh, uh, you know, a, a sort of layer, almost an affirmation of that normalization process, uh, you know, must have been a strategic risk to countries like Iran uh, that stand to lose, uh, you know, leverage and power uh, in a region. Remember that conflict is power and Iran has always represented that proverb in a very, very big way. Uh, uh, you know, a region in upheaval means that countries like Iran, uh, you know, get to pull the strings, get to control proxies like Hezbollah, uh, the Syrian army, the Hamas, etc. Uh, uh, if you have a region of uh, prosperity that faci facilitates trade, economic prosperity, progress, uh, you know, and a sort of comity and uh, bonhomie between nations that have otherwise been advers adversarial towards each other, uh, uh, that means that groups like the Hamas, the Hezbollah, and Iran, the godfather of it all, uh, you know, lose that strategic power, that strategic leverage. Uh, and that is perhaps what uh, uh, Joe Biden is talking about. I don't think he's way off the mark. He says he's got no proof of it, but he is, you know, let's face it, the most powerful uh, world leader at this point of time. He's got two big carrier battle groups in the region, uh, you know, principally, uh, uh, you, you know, because of the rising Iran threat. Let's face it, it's not really just to help uh, uh, to help Israel. It's also, in, uh, you know, principally to, 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 to be a deterrent against uh, any possible direct hostilities shown by Iran that has been operating uh, through its proxy. So uh, the India, Europe, Middle East economic corridor okay. being one of the triggers. I don't know if it's a principal trigger, but one of the many triggers, uh, you know, is not hard to right. believe. I wouldn't dismiss it. So one of the triggers, perhaps, and we'll have to see really how this builds up internationally, the reactions that come. And thanks, Shiv, for the moment for joining us. We're going to keep coming across to you. But it was only in September that Biden actually came out to hail the India-Middle East-Europe economic corridor during the G20 summit in India. Let's play out for you, recap for you what was said then. Today, I'm proud to announce that we've finalized the historic agreement for a new uh, India-Middle East-Europe economic corridor. As, uh, as a key part of this corridor, we're going to invest in ships and rail that extends the India, that extends from India all the way to Europe, connected by the UAE, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, and Israel. Bridging ports across two continents 
unlocking endless opportunities, including making it far easier to trade, export clean energy, expand access to reliable clean electricity, lay cables that will connect communities and secure a stable internet, contributing to a more stable, more prosperous and integrated Middle East. Now, Prime Minister Modi in September had also said that this proposed corridor would emerge as an effective means of economic integration between India, West Asia and Europe. Bharat connectivity ko kshetriya simhau mein nahi maapta. Sabhi kshetron ke saath connectivity badana Bharat ki mukhya prathvikta hai. Hamara manna hai ki connectivity vivin desho ke bhi आपसी व्यापारी नहीं आपसी विश्वास भी बढ़ाने का स्रोत है कुछ मूलभूत सिद्धांतों का सुनिश्चित किया जाना महत्वपूर्ण है जैसे अंतरराष्ट्रीय नॉर्म्स रूल्स तथा लॉज का पालन सभी देशों की संप्रभुता और क्षेत्रीय अखंडता का सम्मान डेट बर्डन की जगह फाइनेंशियल वायबिलिटी को बढ़ावा देना और पर्यावरण के सभी मापदंडों का पालन करना आज जब हम कनेक्टिविटी का इतना बड़ा इनिशिएटिव ले रहे हैं तब हम आने वाली पीढ़ियों के सपनों के विस्तार के बीज बो रहे हैं India's number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening vendetta politics koi doot ke se dula hua nahi hai unmatched eye unmatched experience the world has changed my black hair has become gray as well and with unmatched passion for the story do not monopolize the conversation when it's 100% news that matters it's news today with rajdeep sardesai monday to friday 9 pm only on india today tv India's number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening vendetta politics koi doot ke se dula hua nahi hai unmatched eye unmatched experience the world has changed my black hair has become gray as well and with unmatched passion for the story do not monopolize the conversation when it's 100% news that matters it's news today with rajdeep sardesai monday to friday 9 pm only on india today tv India's number one political reporter defines what seems to be happening vendetta politics koi doot ke se dula hua nahi hai unmatched eye unmatched experience the world has changed my black hair has become gray as well and with unmatched passion for the story do not monopolize the conversation when it's 100% news that matters it's news today with rajdeep sardesai monday to friday 9 pm only on india today tv